for me. Come into Sukhasana with your left shin at the front, cross leg sitting. <clears throat> if you tend to hunch forward, perhaps pop yourself on a block or a folded blanket, a couch pillow. And just let your hands rest to somewhere that I'm distracting for you. Palms facing down. Relax the face, the jaw, and the shoulders. As the eyes get softened or fully closed, Feel each inhale that the air flow in through the mouth, the back of throat, the chest, rib cage, and sink all the way into your diaphragm. Same as goes as exhale, just uh, break into pieces and pay attention to each body part of you that when the air that passing by certain part of you. And notice if there's any tension rising in your body, identify which area it is. And just imagine that you are breathing in all the way to that spot. And if you still feel that you're rushing with each cycle of your breath because you just to come out of a busy place, perhaps start shifting a little bit more attention to your exhale and add a little bit counting, just make it a bit longer. So you can help your mind, help your body quiet down a little bit. You can certainly stay in this breathing practice with, um, with meditation. If you'd like to add a little bit onto it, inhale, rise your arms by the side and all the way up above the head. And exhale with the pace of its exhalation, gradually, slowly let the hand, the arms flow down. And how you imagine yourself like a balloon. And exhale, let everything out, let everything down. Continue like that, inhale. And exhale, flow the arms down by the side. With or without arms. Stay closely connected to your breath, hands to your body.
for a little bit longer. Knowing that you always have the option of resting your hands down if it's too much for you. And start get to know your arms, your hands a little bit more by using your breath to guide it going up and down. And even your eyes are closed, you're still kind of aware of the trace of your arms have been drawing. And after this round, pinch one more round. And exhale next time when your arms are down, bring your hands back to your knees again. Bow your head towards your heart and slowly blink open your eyes when you're ready. Switch the cross of the legs. You can extend the legs forward, just um, especially if, um, if the front of your ankle got a little bit intense. When you're ready, switch the cross of the legs with the right shin to the front. And bring your right hand on the top of the left knee and left hand can be behind you, can be on the sacrum. And use the help of your left elbow. Take a big inhale, reaching toward the sky through the crown of the head. And exhale, revolve through the spine and turn your chest toward the left side. Gaze through the left shoulder all the way to the back of the space. Take a deep inhale, sink all the way into the sit bones. And exhale, revolve your ribcage, your chest toward the back. One more deep inhale. And exhale, come back to forward again. And we'll switch side. Left hand onto the top of the right knee. And right hand behind you on the floor, on your fingertips. You can also press your right palm into your sacrum. Use the help of your right elbow and the left hand push into the right knee. Take a deep inhale, reaching long. And exhale, revolve through the spine, turn the chest, the rib cage toward the right. Gaze through the right shoulder, all the way to the back of the space. Long, slow, steady breath here. Take one deep inhale. Feel your spine growing longer. And exhale, rotate your chest back towards the front again. If you're sitting on a block or something, you can stay. Otherwise, bend your legs in front of you. Bring your hands behind you. some micro bend in your elbows and pop your chest up, push into the palms and bring the feet as wide as mat if you like to. And windshield wiper your knees side to side, tap the knees down onto the ground. If you need more support from your hands, you can come down to your elbows.
gently and slowly. Especially if you tend, um, tend to sit for a long time. Give your hips time to welcome this mobility. And when you're ready to rest to the left side, just let things stay there. Option to hook your left ankle over your right knee. Take one deep inhale. Let the right side body grow. Next, I'll let the left knee sink toward the ground. Take one more big inhale. Next, I'll everything back to center. Keep your left knee over the left ankle over the right knee. You can step your right foot closer to you and press your left knee away from you. Next, we extend your right leg. Step your left foot inside of the right leg. Right elbow hugging your left knee, left hand behind you, and turn your chest to the left side. Gaze through the left shoulder all the way to the back of the space again. See if you can use the press of the back of the right leg down into the ground to help you to revolve this time. Pull the right toes towards you. And exhale, come back to forward. And hugging your left elbow, left knee with your left elbow this time. Actually, bring the left elbow inside of the left knee and round your left elbow Hug your left elbow, your left knee, with your left hand, snake into your left hip. Take a deep inhale, and exhale, fold forward through the pelvis, only halfway. Continue press into the ground through the back of the right leg. Take one more deep inhale. Next, exhale, start slowly walk your right hand, a pinch forward. Option to stay here. Option to bring your right arm behind you. Perhaps walk your right hand. You can bring the right hand on your sacrum again. You can also grab the hands with each other if that's accessible to you. Maintain the melt of the chest toward the right knee. And just let the sensation rise knowing there's always an ending of this posture, the sensation will fall back down eventually. But you are the owner of the sensation, so you decide how much and how strong you want this to be by adjusting your posture. Slowly walk yourself all the way back up. And bring your left foot to the right inner thigh. Hands by the side of the right leg. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, walk your hands slightly forward. Take one more big inhale. And exhale, option to walk a little bit further away from you. Continue press the left knee towards the ground. One more round of round breath. Next, just start slowly walk yourself back up. And we'll switch sides. Bend the legs in, feet as wide as the mat, hands behind you, press into the hands, pop the chest up. Option to stay here, option to come down to your elbows. And windshield wiper your knees side to side.
that the knees just at the beginning of the practice, let the knees move along with the pace of your breath. Noticing the sensation rising in your outer hips. When you're ready, rest your knees both to the side, to the right side. An option to hook your right ankle over the left knee. Take a deep inhale, press the chest up, spread the collarbones. And exhale, let the right knee drop toward the ground. And come all the way back to center. Keep the hook of the right ankle over the left knee. If you're on your elbows, you can come up onto your hands again. Press your right knee open. Flex your right foot. And then extend your left leg long. Bring the right, the sole of your right foot close to your left leg in the thigh. Actually, step your right leg inside of the left leg. Hugging your left, your right knee with your left elbow and your right hand behind you. And use a press of the back of the left leg into the ground. Pull the left toes towards you and revolve your chest toward the back. Use the press of the right hand, your right fingertips to help you to grow tall through the spine. Next, I'll start slowly turn your chest back to the front. And bring the right elbow inside of the right knee this time. Round your right elbow around your right knee. Option to stay here. Option to bring the left hand onto your sacrum for half bind. You can also walk your hands towards each other for a full bind. Take a deep inhale. The exhale, melt your chest toward the left leg. Firmly press into the left heel into the ground. Start slowly unwind and press the right foot into the left inner thigh. Both hands by the side of the left leg. Take a deep inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, fold through the pelvis. Walk your hands slightly away from you. Stay here for two rounds of breath. And if you feel up to round the breath based on the intensity of the sensation, you decide if you want to stay here or you'd like to walk your hands slightly further. Depends on that. If you're noticing that you're sacrificing the quality of your breath by doing that. And wiggling your toes, your fingertips, get to know your body. And just let the sensation rise again, knowing there'll be an end. And start slowly walk your hands back towards you. Extend both legs this time and just shake the legs against the floor. One of you ready? Flip around, come into Bhartmanasana table pose. Hands right underneath your shoulders and knees right underneath your hips. Take a deep inhale, open the chest, lift the tailbones, drop the belly, cow pose. The exhale, round the upper back, press into the palms, into the shins. Float between them on your own pace. 
can also add your own variation based based on what you need, what your body is calling for. You can flip the hands, one hand or both. You can add more side to side movement. You can even reverse up. Inhale and exhale with counting cat. And once you're ready, bring the hands one hand point forward, tuck your back toes, and straighten your back legs. Press into downward facing dog. If this is first down dog of yours today, give yourself time to pedal through one leg and another. You can also rock forward into a high plank or knee plank, then come back to downward facing dog. Whatever that you need to make some space in the back of the legs. If you decide to stay in downward facing dog, you can close your eyes briefly if that gives you more space to connect with your body. Because often time we're so distracted by everything else that you forgot. We forgot that connection. Once you find stillness in your downward facing dog, lift your left leg up, stack your left hip over the right, and bend the left knee. Press firmly into the left hand so you're not turning your chest to the left side, your chest to your face toward the ground. Take a deep inhale, reaching the left knee toward the sky. And exhale, draw the left knee into the left elbow. Inhale, kick the left knee back over the right knee. And exhale, draw the left knee into the left elbow. One more time. Stack the left hip over the right. Press firmly into the left hand. And exhale, left knee into the left elbow. And step your left foot outside of the left hand this time. Release your right knee down, right hand down on the ground. On or on the block, depending on your arm's length. And come up, up onto the pinky edge of your left foot. Use your left hand, gently push your left knee open and turn your chest up toward the sky. Option to stay here, option to float up your left palm to help you to spread your collarbones. And option to turn your left palm and bring your left palm onto your sacrum or snake it into your right hip for a half bind. Take a deep inhale, revolve your chest up. And exhale, lengthen through the front. If you have the half bind released on it, release your left hand down. Your hands on the block or on the ground. Inhale, pull the chest forward, low lunge, but with your left knee slightly open than usual. Next, uh, straighten your left leg, half split. Inhale, bending the left leg again, pull the chest forward. Next, uh, pin your left hip back. One more time. And exhale, half split. This time, option to travel with one of the block. And bring the right hand onto the block, right underneath your right shoulder. Continue, pull your left toes towards you. Press into your left heel. Press the back of your left knee towards the ground. And inhale, rise the left arm up. Next, revolve your ribcage up. Option to snake your left hand back to your right hip for that half bind again. And 
as you have the bind slowly come out of it. And bend into your left leg again. Spin your right shin to the left side for 90 degrees. So you're kind of in a supported warrior two. Left hand on the ground inside of the left foot. Press your left shin bone into your left arm bone. Raise up the right arm. You can stay here. Option to flip your right palm, bring the right hand onto your back or snake it into your left hip. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, press into your left palm and use that pressing right all the way up into a warrior two. And start slowly gliding the left arm on the left leg back into a supported side angle. Turn your chest up. And help rise all the way up. Glide your arm up against the left leg. And exhale, release your left hand down. You can continue to do so. You can also inhale when you rise up, perhaps straighten your left leg. And exhale, bend into your left leg and release your left hand down. Let's do it twice more. When you're straightening your front leg only to the point that when your body telling you to stop. Bring the right foot, right hand down, straighten your right leg and step your right foot outside of your right hand. Sit into Malasana Yoga Squat. And bring your palms together. You can slide a block and then use your sit bones to sit on it if that allows you space to recatch your breath. Yoga squat is not easy for everybody. Just like all the postures we practice, something easy for you might be difficult for another person. Just connect with your body without judgment. Extend your left arm to the left side. Use the left arm to press the left knee open. Rise up your right hand to the sky. And we'll switch side. Extend your right arm to the right side. And float up your left arm. And press your palms together. And hands down. Press up your tailbones. Heel toe your feet to be parallel with each other. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Auto Tanasana. And exhale, fold over the legs. Rise all the way up. Hands up, Urdhva Hastasana, and exhale, hands your heart center by the side of the asana. Bring the arms up again. Exhale, fold over the legs, step left and right. Knees up or down. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, bend through the elbows, hugging the elbows towards each other. And slowly passing through Chaturanga Dandasana and lower all the way down to your belly. Cactus your arms and bring your hands to where your elbows were and point your elbows toward the sky. Take a deep inhale, lift your chest up. Next, so dip your right shoulder to the left side, gaze to your left side all the way to the ceiling. Inhale, on both chest up. Next, so dip your left shoulder down toward the left side, to the right side to the sky. Inhale up. And exhale, deep your right shoulder. And dip the left. Press firmly into the top of the feet.
be genuine with the pace of your breath. And next time, slowly release your chest down all the way to the ground. Hands by the chest. Push to your table on high plank. And we all meet in Akhamukashwanasana, downward facing dog. If you need more moments, empowering your legs in the second downward facing dog, please go for it. When you are ready, we all meet in stacking right hip over the left hip, bend your right knee and press firmly into the right hand. Take a deep inhale, kick the right knee high toward the sky. And exhale, draw the right knee into the right elbow. Inhale, stack the right hip over the left hip again. And exhale, draw the right knee in. One more time. And this time after the tapping, step your right foot outside of the right hand and release your left knee down. Press your left hand down into the ground or on the block. Come up onto the, the pinky edge of your right foot and use your right hand to gently press your right knee open toward the right side. And if you like to create more space in the chest in the collarbone area, option to float up your right hand, option to flip your right hand, bring your right hand to your back, or snake it into your left hip. Take a deep inhale, lengthen through the spine, and exhale, revolve your chest toward the sky. One more deep inhale. Next, I'll release the bind if you have it. Step down your right foot. Find the blocks if you're gonna need them. Bring both of them inside of your right foot. Inhale, pull the chest forward. Next, I'll pin your right hip back, straighten your right leg. Push into your right heel and press the back of the right leg into towards the ground and help bend into the right knee again and exhale straighten your right leg one more time Next time when you're straightening your right leg, travel one block with you. Start with your hand on the block or with some kind of height. If you don't need it, you can ditch it later. Take a deep inhale, press into the right leg. And exhale, float up your right hand, twisting to the right side. Option to flip your top palm and snake it into your left hip for a half line. If you have the bind, slowly, slowly come out of it and bend into the right leg again. Spin your left shin to be parallel with the shoulder edge of the mat. Right hand inside of the right foot Press your right knee into the right upper arm bone. Extend the left arm up into a supported side angle. Option to stay here. Option to flip your top palm, bring it to the head, to the back, or you can also snake it into your right hip into a half bind. Take a deep inhale. Rotate the chest up. And exhale, press into the right palm and use the resistance from the floor to help you rise all the way up into a supported warrior two. And now glide your right arm along your right knee and release your right hand down. 
exhale, glide yourself up. Continue press strongly into the right foot. Inhale, release down. Next, so this time you can also start straightening your front leg when you rise all the way up. Inhale, low all the way down. And come more round on your own. And next time when you're in a supported side angle, release the bind if you have it. Bring your left shin back to center and step your left foot outside of your left hand and sit your hips down into a malasana yoga squat. You can stay here. You can add as much support you need. Extend your left arm out, right arm up. Option to flip your top palm and bring it to the back or close to your left hip. Option two, round your left arm around your left knee. Perhaps hook your hands. You can certainly use the help of a scalp or a strap if you really want that for buying but that's not the expectations of today's practice. So you only go to the point that makes sense to your body. You come back to center. Extend the right arm out, left arm up. Option to create a half bind with your left hand to your right hip. Option to round your right arm around the right knee for a full bind. And even in the bind, don't forget to push the opposite knee away from you. And gaze towards the sky. Come back to center. And fold over the legs, lift the hips up. Heel toe your feet to be parallel with each other. Inhale, lengthen spine, auto tanasana. Exhale, fold over the legs. Rise all the way up. And to your heart center by the side. Perhaps close your eyes briefly in this tadasana so you can give it a little bit more intention and less distraction. You can use a technique that we've been practicing that crossing lines in your body to create a connection with your body. read this metaphor somewhere before that your body is like a temple that posts in your spirit. To help you stay for your mind practice, you need to clean and maintain this temple for it. You need to know it. You need to know every corner of it. And we'll flow a little bit differently today. So if you, especially if your body is calling for a more traditional salute, please go for it. I would suggest a sun A if you want to stick to a traditional salute. Otherwise, both arms up, exhale, fold over the legs, step your left leg back, spin down your left foot, right hand inside of your right foot, press your right knee into your right upper arm bone, left arm up side angle. Take a deep inhale, press into the pinky edge of the left foot. And exhale, use the press from the ground all the way up into your warrior two. Reverse your warrior. And exhale, both hands down, step your right foot back. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, knees up or down, bend to the elbows. Inhale, pour into back bend of your choice. Can be Bhujangasana, can be upper facing dog. You can also come into a table and a cow. 
and exhale, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Step your left foot to the left hand. Bring the left hand inside of the left foot. Spin down your right foot. Rise up your right arm. Press your right upper arm bone into your left, your left upper arm bone into your left knee and vice versa. Take a deep inhale, press strongly into the right foot. And exhale, just like the glide that we've been practicing on our knees and rise all the way up into warrior two. Take a deep inhale, bend into the left knee. And exhale, reverse your warrior. Right hand to the right shin, left arm by the left ear. And exhale, call your both hands down. Step your right foot forward, meet with your left. Inhale, lengthen the spine, hands on the shin or on the blocks. And exhale, fold over the legs. Rise all the way up. And exhale, hand to heart center. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, hands down. Step your right foot back this time. Spin down your right foot. Be parallel with the short edge of the mat. Left hand inside of the left foot. Rise up your right arm. Press your left up arm bone into your left knee. Use a glide to help yourself all the way up into warrior two. Reverse your warrior, rest your right hand on your right shin, left arm by the left ear. Next, exhale, rest both hands down, step your left foot back into a high plank. From here, you decide what you're gonna do with your vinyasa. On the inhale, pull into back bend of your choice. Exhale, we are all meet in downward facing dog or child pose if that's what you chose for other posture. Step your right foot to the right hand, spin down your left heel, right hand inside of the right foot, load up the left hand, glide all the way up into a warrior two. Take a deep inhale, press into the left foot, and exhale, reverse warrior. Let the right side body grow. Call your both hands down, step your left foot forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold the legs. Rise all the way up. And hand to your heart center. By the side, we'll flow one more round together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold over the legs. Step your left foot back. Spin down your left heel. Right hand inside of the right foot. Rise up your left hand. Inhale all the way up into warrior two. Next, a reverse warrior. Inhale, come back into warrior two. Next, a both hands down. And step your right foot back into a high plank. Take a deep inhale and exhale, move to your vinyasa into option of your toe back bending. Next, exhale, downward facing dog or child pose. Step your left foot forward, spin down your right heel, left hand inside of your left foot, rise up your right hand, take a deep inhale. Next, exhale, press yourself all the way up into warrior two. Take a deep inhale. Now exhale, reverse your warrior. Both hands down. Step your right foot forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold over the legs. Rise all the way up. And hand to heart center. Last round. Both arms up. Now exhale, hands down. Step your right foot back. Spin down your right heel, left hand inside of the left hand. Float up your right arm, press your left arm into the left knee, and rise all the way up. And on an exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, come all the way up into warrior two. Release your hands down to the ground, step your left foot to the back, move to your vinyasa.
So all meet with your right foot forward, right hand inside of your right foot, bend into the right leg, and now rise up your left arm. And exhale, push yourself all the way up into a warrior two. Reverse warrior. Both hands down. Step your left foot forward, meet with the right. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold the legs. Rise all the way up. And exhale, hand to heart center by the side. As the eyes get softened, close the eyes for a brief moment. Just play around by shifting weight around the corners of your feet. Knowing they've been doing a great job bearing your weight. They will continue to do so even if you choose to close your eyes. And start slowly going to open the eyes. You can bring yourself close to a wall for this round. Shift weight onto the right foot, hugging your right outer hip bend and bend your left knee in. Bring the left foot to the right in the thigh. And let the left knee open the left side into a tree pose, big shasana. Hands in front of your heart gathering together. Option two, find a steady point for you to focus on and start slowly rise a prayer toward the sky. Take a deep inhale, grow tall through the fingertips. And exhale, nothing falls toward the ground. Everything's still growing. One more deep inhale. And exhale, start slowly release the hands down. Bring the left foot forward. Option to kick the left leg straight and start slowly transitioning your left leg toward the back into a warrior three and tap your left foot down. And turn your chest to the left side, heels in, toes out, sit in the goddess pose. Then turn your left foot toward the back, spin your right heel down your right foot parallel with the shoulder out of the mat. Extend the arms long into a warrior two toward the back of the face. And rest your left elbow on top of your left thigh, right arm by the right ear. Inhale, rise up into a warrior two. Next, straighten your left leg and reverse warrior. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Next, I'll bend into a side angle. Left elbow on the left knee. You can also rest your left hand onto a block or onto the ground, depending on which way you get more support. Rise all the way up into warrior two. And straight in the left leg, reverse warrior. In her warrior two. Next, I'll side angle. Rise all the way up. Last time. And this time, inside angle, option to flip your top palm. Bring it to your back or snake it into your left hips. You can even grab the top of the left thigh with your right hand. Option to stay here. Option to thread your left arm underneath your left knee. Perhaps grab your hands behind your back for full bind. And continue push into your right foot and rotate your chest up toward the sky. Release the full bind if you have it. And straighten your left leg into a Chikonasana triangle pose. 
Left hand can be on the fingertips. You can also come bring a block underneath your left hand. You can also rest the left hand on the left shin. You can also create a half bind in this Trikonasana as well. Bend into the left leg, both hands down. Walk yourself to the left side, parallel the feet. And fold over the legs. If you don't like your head dangling and if your body is signaling some uncertainty or danger for you, especially since we're in a upside down kind of posture, your, your head is lower than your heart can bring a block that in front of you to catch your forehead. You can also lay um, the blanket in front of you so your so your mind is the brain knowing that even if you fall there's something to catch you. Take a deep inhale and next so just let the body release toward the ground. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Now exhale, bend into the right leg. Straighten your left. Point your left toes toward the sky, Skandasana. Inhale, bend into the left. Straighten the right. Now exhale, bend in the right. Straighten the left. You can move in between sides on your own pace. And next time when you're bending into your left leg, remember what we did when we're sitting on the floor, round your left arm around your left elbow, grab your left uh, hip with your left hand, option to float your right hand up and bring it behind you for half bind or full bind, depending on your arm length. And continue press the back of the right leg toward the ground and point the right toes toward the sky. And just let the sensation rise and fall, knowing there's also an ending for this posture. Release from the bind if habit. Bend into the right leg. up onto the ball of your left foot. Rise your arms by the ears and come right all the way up into your high lunge. Take a deep inhale, reaching tall through the fingertips. And exhale, kick, stand into your right foot and draw your left knee into the chest. And kick straight that left leg. And step your left foot down, hand through heart center. We'll do the other side. Don't shift the weight into your left foot. Get comfortable with pulling most of the weight into the left foot. You can just try out by lifting your right foot slightly, then a little bit more. Once you're ready and feel like you have a good foundation on your left foot, with or without support from the wall, draw your right foot into your left inner thigh. Press your right knee open. Find a steady spot that you can focus on. And gather the hands in front of the heart. Option to raise your prayer all the way above you. Each inhale, feel yourself grow taller through the guidance of the fingertips. And just slowly let your hands come in 
back down. And take your right leg forward. Draw your right knee in and kick the right foot toward the back, passing through a quick warrior three. Then land your right foot down, both arms up into high lines. Exhale, spin down your right foot, heels in, toes out, sit into a goddess pose. You goddess can shift side to side, just play around. Once you're ready to come to the back, turn your right foot to the back of the face, spin your left foot to be parallel with the shoulder of the mat and open the chest, open the arms into warrior two. Point your right knee toward the right pinky toe. And rest your right elbow on top of the right thigh. You can also rest your right hand on the ground or on the block, okay, the hard side angle. Take a deep inhale all the way up into warrior two. And exhale, reverse warrior, straighten your right leg. Inhale back into warrior two. And exhale, right elbow on the top of the right thigh or right hand on the ground side angle. Inhale, rise up warrior two. And exhale, straighten your right leg, reverse your warrior. Flow on your own pace. Knowing that there's nobody rushing you, nobody rushing your body on your mat. Next time when you back into a side angle, option to float your left palm up and create that half bind. Snake the left hand into the right hip. Option two, thread the right arm underneath you. And grab your hands and rotate your chest up into a full bind. Just let the sensation rise and fall back out whenever you need to. Just like when you meet a friend, you don't come too aggressively. You be gentle and polite. If you have the bind, release from it and walk yourself. Actually, right hand down onto the floor and straight in the right leg right hand stay on the fingertip or on the right shin or rest on the block for chikonasana triangle pose option to create a full half bind in your chikonasana as well Now we're ready to come out, bend into the right leg again, walk yourself to the right side. And fold all the legs. Same as the other side, you can use the block to catch your breath and catch your forehead. And if you have been practicing tripod headstand, this is a great place to go for it. Sometime upside down, give you a totally different perspective regarding your body. Wherever you are, when you're ready to come out, inhale, lengthen the spine. Next, you'll bend into the left leg, straight in the right. Inhale, bend into the right, straight in the left. 
option to get the hands in front of the heart when you switch side back to side. Next time when you're bending into the right leg again, option two, round your right arm around the right knee and create a half bind or full bind with the left arm. Either you have a bind or no bind. So bring the hands back to the floor and help yourself to walk yourself all the way to the front. Come up to the balls of your right foot. Arms by the side or reach by the ears. Right all the way up into a high lunge. Take a deep inhale, reaching toward through the fingertips. Next, so kick your right knee into the chest, standing strong into onto your left leg. Option to kick the right leg straight forward and release your right foot down. Once you arrive to the front of the mat, take a deep inhale, arms up. And spread your feet slightly wide apart with this front of each other. Come up onto the toes of your uh, balls of your feet. And exhale, keep your navel toward the spine and start slowly lower your hips down towards the ground into the Malasana yoga squat. So from here, the couple of things that I like to offer, knowing that there's no bad or better or worse or just like when you go shopping for shoes, you don't go for a bigger shoes or smaller shoes. You go for the one that fits your size. So one thing is you can stay in this Malasna. You can also try the half bind with the arms around the knee. And if you got the bind in Malasna, one thing you can try is step your right foot to the center and start slowly. Bring the bind all the way up, straighten up your right leg, hugging your right outer hip in and do flamingo pose. Standing strong on the right leg and to come out, start slowly, lower your bind toward the ground. Tap your, the ball of your left foot down first and you can do the other side. And another one, one last thing that I like to offer is, instead of bind around your left angle, left knee, thread it your left arm between your left calf and your left thigh, and create that full bind like that, and step your right foot slightly in. You can stand, lift up your left heel first. If that's too difficult. You can step your left foot, left foot on the block first. Option to stay here. You can also start just like flamingo pose, start slowly rise up. And once you rise up, hug your right outer hip in. And if you feel like you're steady on this right leg, option to slowly kick straight the left leg into a bird of paradise. To come down, bend your left leg in first. Then step the left foot onto the block and come back into a malasana. So use this couple of minutes to decide what your body is calling for and go for it instead of simply following what I've been doing, um, curing. And 
on whatever you decide to go with, make sure you do both sides. Perhaps or perhaps not, you'll notice a difference on different sides. No judgment here. Simply celebrate that your body is allowing you to go for the one you chose to go for with. distracting for me when you have a cat rolling around in front of you. Whatever posture or postures that you decide to go for. Take your time to experience both sides. Once you're done with playing, we we'll all meet on our back. Release the hands by the side. Pull the navel toward the ground. Press to low back toward the ground. Lift up through your left shin to be parallel with the ceiling, your left knee right above your left hip. And then lift up your right shin to be paired with the ceiling. Knees side by side. You can open the arms into a T if that gives you more support. Take a deep inhale, press your low back into the ground. Next, lower both knees. Keep the 90 degrees in your legs to the right side. And gaze to the left shoulder all the way far to the left side. Inhale, come back to center. Next, release knees to the left side. Okay, through the right shoulder all the way to the far right side. And now come back to center. Next, release knees to the right side. Gaze to the left. Come back to center. Release the knees down to the left side. And because your out gaze are all the way to the left side or to the right side, our knees are not in our side. But still, if you still have the connection with your legs that you kind of know if it's still in the place you want it to be, You can, of course, uh, occasionally just add a check on and add some adjust. Next time we need to the left side. Bring your knees back, all the way back to center. And step your feet down. Find the block if you have one nearby. Bring the heels towards the sit bone. And press into your palms and lift your tailbone, your low back, your mid back, and your upper back all the way up into a bridge. If you have more energy to use, you can stay in this active bridge pose. If you feel like you can use, use some support, you can slide a block underneath your sacrum. Perhaps close the eyes and just to carefully listen to what your body is calling for. If it, it might be tearing you 
if it's looking forward to a bridge post or a supported bridge post, it can be something else too. I would say go for it. and a supported bridge pose. Slightly lift off your hips and slide away from the block. And start slowly release your tailbone down. And hug the knees into the chest, rock side to side. If you have any other posture you'd like to include in your practice today, please go for it. And if you like to use waterfall pose for your Shavasana, you can slide a block and use your sacrum and then extend your legs toward the sky. If you like to need more support for this waterfall, you can bring yourself close to a wall and just rest your legs on the wall. Of course, you can always just uh, simply spread out your legs, your arms, for Shavasana. I do encourage you to stay for the Shavasana, not just for resting. But also gives a chance to listen to what your body has to say to you, or even offering to you. with all the distractions, uh, electric devices and the internet, social media, everything that exploding around us. Sometimes we just lose a touch with our body. Use this as an opportunity that reestablish the connection. know your body, and not to just know its strength, but also know its limit and respect that limit. You feel like you have a, like you're ten, you're trying to rush to somewhere. Give yourself three rounds of long breath of time to identify if it's a real, real rush.
And as always, if you have no word that you need to rush to, and if you like to, feel free to stay for the moment that you're staying. And if you're ready to come out, start wiggling your toes with your fingertips. And gently sway your head side to side. Carefully bend one leg and then another. And roll onto one side. And before you, you navigate yourself all the way up, use this moment to decide how can you keep a closer connection with your body even after you walk into all those distractions. Use your hand to help yourself come all the way up to a comfortable seat. I'm gonna do three more rounds of the breathing with arms again. Take a deep inhale. Float arms all the way above the head, just like drawing a full moon. And exhale, leaning your hands all the way down. Inhale, arms up. And deep breath out. One more round. And this time, draw your hands in front of your heart as a prayer. And bow your head for the heart. Whenever you're ready, slowly blink open your eyes. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoy the rest of the night.